Hello everyone and welcome to another I had no idea. Today we're going to take a look at camouflage. Um, an idea that I really wasn't uh, following thoroughly um, in my career in World of Tanks, let's call it this way. But recently I've started to play my light tanks a little bit more serious and camouflage seems to be proving quite useful. Take a look at this. I'm playing in Batcha 12T, enemy has a Batcha 12T. I spotted him, he did not spot me. Now, the biggest problem of light tanks in World of Tanks nowadays is the requirement for crew skill. Car not just camouflage, but overall skills on your crew and also equipment, unfortunately. So I'm using bounty equipment on my bat chat because I'm tree marking it right now, currently at 90 something percent. But this is a little bit unfair on the enemy bat chat because clearly he has not his uh, light tank set up for spotting. So what you see here is I pretty much I perma spotted him. He doesn't even know he's still spotted. He's been spotted the entire uh, battle. But uh, let's talk light tanks in general. But I'm not going to take this shot unless I really think he's going to get away. So this is uh, one highlight. You definitely don't want to uh, sh take shots if you think your team can shoot for you. So I will hold my shot for as long as I can. But back on the subject of light tanks. A little unfortunate. It is my favorite class in World of Tanks. He's running away. I had to shoot because otherwise I'd lose him. Uh, but luckily, uh, Kanoniak Panzer 105 does hit him before I do, and I didn't get spotted. So it's been almost two minutes into the game. I have 1400 uh, assistance, and I have not been spotted yet. So I am a mystery factor, and the enemy doesn't know where I am. Uh, but once again, I, I digress. Back on the subject of light tanks. You really have to uh, try a little harder when you are playing with light tanks in World of Tanks. It's quite an outdated class. It's not easy to play, but it's also extremely, extremely influential. You can make or break the game uh, with your light, light tank plays, especially if there's only one and the map uh, is really good for it. This is one of the maps where light tanks are important. So, equipment on light tanks is important. Uh, consumables on light tanks are important and crew skills on light tank are also important. This is unfortunate because as a new player playing World of Tanks you probably want to try out a little bit of everything and if you go into the game in your light tank unprepared and without proper equipment and without uh, skills or and knowledge you are putting your entire team at a disadvantage. So if you really want to tank your win ratio definitely play light tanks with bad equipment <laughs> uh, but uh, it's pretty much the biggest problem of light tanks at the same time those are quite bad tanks but on the other hand they influence the game like nothing else so what you see me do uh, here is i try to uh, expand my team's view range because they there's no way for them to spot anyone in those bushes what i run on my light tank not just uh, this one, pretty much every light tank is optics and CVS commander's vision system uh, recently added to the game it reduces enemies camo when they are behind foliage so when you see those tanks in those bushes there I have a greater chance of spotting them and my team pretty much is unable to do so so that's exactly what I'm trying to do I went over the ridge line I'm seeing if I can spot them those are medium tanks so it's not guaranteed I noticed that nothing's happening, it's 1-1, one, one. the hit points are the same, it's a stalemate, the only difference is my team has a light tank and the enemy team no longer has a light tank, so <laughs> what I do here is I <laughs> dodge a barrage of shells, uh, when you get spotted in light tanks do not stop and keep wiggling, it always works. So what you, may see, uh, what you see me do here is I try to extend my team's view range and enable them to see targets which wouldn't be visible for them without me and take a look at the minimum how close i am to all those tanks to this amx 300 meters that i see unspotted because my camouflage is currently sitting at ob over 40 percent i'll put the exact number above that means i can pretty much uh, go up safely at around 350 meters to, towards heavy tanks and they won't see me. I don't need bushes for that. 
and you'll see a great highlight of this um, later on. Uh, here I get spotted by the CS because I run into the 50 meter um, circle in front of him, so he proxy spotted me. And so I wait until I get unspotted. I see the scorpion is now isolated. Let's not forget, I am also an auto loader. So when I see an opportunity to do damage, I do damage. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is I, I was trying to go as wide as, po as possible so he doesn't shoot me and uh, luckily it worked. So my goal now is to expand the view range so I can spot the K-line. Uh, otherwise this battle is not going to progress. As you can see, it's a stalemate still. So the only player in, uh, on my team that's capable of doing anything in this situation is me. And that's what I do. I spotted those heavy tanks again, 340 meters. I'm not shooting because uh, I will get spotted then, uh, but they have no chance of seeing me. I noticed the T-34 is coming closer, so I'm going to duck behind the building so he doesn't spot me. He's too close. <laughs> so I wait for him to leave and then I go back into spotting the heavy tanks. 4,000 spotting on Redshire so far, plenty of support in the middle. Uh, north flank is... It's not progressing, but it's not losing. See, 340 meters from a TD. I shoot and I'm not spotted. Uh, this type, hmm, it's a bit of a gamble. He might spot me if I shoot, so I don't take the risk quite yet. Unless I know that I can after shot, say, uh, hide into safety. So I really want him to show me his side. He's not really doing this. It's some good armor work there. Uh, definitely. So I tried to hit his shoulder, almost hit that butt. I see his gun looking at me, so I don't wait for my sixth sense to go off. If you fire in your light tank and you think you might get spotted, move away. Uh, it's better to be safe than sorry, because light tanks have uh, reduced amount of hit points. So me, in tier 8, 1000 hit points. That's a two shot for quite a lot of tanks. So, uh, Hori 2, one shot, two shots, he is now dead. Tiger 2, uh, I'm going to let my team deal with him. Alternatively, oh. safe. <laughs> uh, alternatively, we can just ignore the Tiger 2 because he is currently not a threat. Uh, we have uh, opened up the bottom uh, flank and we are now moving back to the top flank and see if we can do something there. Uh, Type 61, I got lucky that he didn't shoot me. He has enough gun depression to do that, but he didn't. Now, what I need to do now is help my team a little bit more. So I want to be more active. 4,000 spotting, uh, 700 damage. If I want to win this, I need to get moving. Two minutes left on, on the clock. Uh, my team is winning in theory, but if this is assault. So we have, we have to kill all all cap to win the game and so far not looking that easy two minutes they could easily just wait it out so i'm going in shot on the type eliminated shot on the cs eliminated opened up the entire flank and now my team can easily uh, win this so with this little final push with a bad shot in the end uh, it's opening up that oyster of victory and here we are, a highlight of what you can do in the light tank, how important it is to be alive and not to get outspotted by the enemy light tank. So always make sure to check out who do you play against as a light tank, who is your opposite. Uh, in this situation, I had the better equipment and made the win possible. Tell me, what do you think about light tanks in World of Tanks? Do you like playing light tanks? It is my favorite class, but what's yours? I'm curious, let me know. Uh, let's take you to the post-game stats now. And the battle stats. Ace tanker, uh, scout medal for scouting, uh, spotting the majority of the enemy team. Uh, as you can see, the influence uh, is really high uh, of your light tanks, but more important than the battle stats are the uh, tank stats. So check this out. 480 meter view range is enough. It's not bad for a light tank, uh, even though I do have to use uh, bounty coated optics to get that. CVS and optics uh, spot in a slot. Important because that reduces enemy enemies camouflage uh, behind foliage and I have 47% camouflage. This is the highlight of this tank because overall it's not the best light tank in the game on the tier. Um, even the premium ones are better. And the ammunition type, uh, you can't really use uh, standard ammunition with, because of this ridiculously low penetration of 170. Even the premium rounds have 210, which is not that great. 
but overall I do like this tank. This camouflage makes it work because the opposition is quite tough. Uh, you might have an opportunity to, to see me play uh, Hawk 30 as well because I do like it. It has significantly more view range but also much lower camouflage rating so definitely stay tuned for this one because this one um, is also important for a different reason so stay tuned for that uh, i'll probably show that on sunday uh, let me know what you think about light tanks i'm uh, quite curious uh, what are your favorite classes and i'll see you on the next one